yet another Olympic Games with uh, Kirani James, your main charge. How are the preparations going and talk me through in terms of the entire preparation leading into the Rio 2016 Games? Well, this season has been a, a great season for uh, Karani. Um, he has, has run great all season long. Um, he has run consistently fast all season long. He has been undefeated all season long. We're great to be in the position that we're in. It's, it's been a very careful and planned season for him uh, being the Olympic year. We want to make sure that uh, he has every opportunity to come here and, and represent himself as well as his country uh, to the best of his ability and, and be in great form. Um, these last several weeks, um, after taking a little time off since his last competition in Hungary, um, he has done exactly that. Um, I feel real good about where he is as far as his running. Um, the Olympics is, is not an easy meet uh, at all. Um, we all understand that. Uh, we also understand that, that Karani is trying to do something that only one person in history has ever done, and that's uh, defend uh, his Olympic title and, and try to go back to back Olympics. And only Michael Johnson has done that in that event. But what I'm real, real proud of at this point is, is that over a four year stretch since London, uh, he has um, done a tremendous job of, of staying focused, staying driven, staying committed, and staying on top because if you go back to London and look look at the other seven runners that were in the finals, uh, no disrespect, but those runners are, are literally nowhere to be found. Uh, he's the only one coming out of that final that's back in position to do great things. And, and, and I'm proud of that too, because uh, one of our goals going into his professional career was to make sure that he was not a one hit wonder and um, that he not only maintain a, a great status as being world class and being a, a, a medal contender each and every championship, um, but to be in a position to do that is, is not easy as, as I just spoke of with the other seven runners um, not running well at this point. Well, how much it takes to, to be that consistent, I mean, from 2012 to 2016 and to maintain that focus? Well, a lot of things. Um, you, 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 one, you've got to be driven to do it again. Um, that's, that's, that's one of the keys. The other key is, is that um, it's such a tough event, so you've got to stay healthy. Um, we've been able to do that through training as well as through competition, and, and he's maintained that uh, where, where he hasn't been hurt over a four-year period. That's, that's unheard of. Uh, he hasn't had any nagging injuries and things of that nature, and I think it's because of the way we're training and and, and the people that we, we put with him as far as a medical team and, and all that, that, that keeps him driven and, 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 and driving forward. You haven't had any setbacks, which is, which is great. Uh, you can't afford to do that either if you're trying to go to the next Olympics. Uh, I had the pleasure of making three Olympic teams and those were the three ingredients that, that, that allowed me to do it year in and year out, Olympics after Olympics, and, and he's on pace to do the same thing. <laughs> the Focus when it comes to the 400 meters obviously will be on three, including Karani James. Um, what about the pressure that puts on in Karani himself? Well, you know, the um, Karani event is, is undoubtedly the, uh, call the toughest event in track and field outside of, I, I, I feel, the steeplechase because they had to run over and jump over things at 3,000 meters. But as far as the pain tolerance that, that you feel after each race, um, he has done that better than anybody. I mean, he doesn't mind hurting uh, to succeed and have success and come back at it week in, week out, year in and year out. Um, but he is in an event that is so talented and deep. Um, one of the things they just talked about was those seven guys not being in position to do what they did four years ago. Well, that's a reason for that as well, is, is that 25 people around the world broke 45 seconds for 400 meters. So that makes it good. And, and the other thing is, the other two guys that he looked for, he cheated against here, uh, LaShawn Merritt and, and Van Niekirk, you know, they're two of the top 10 fastest 400 meter runners in history, along with Karani. So that makes it very, very difficult for everybody else to get there. 
So will it be an easy task? No, um, by no stretch of the imagination. But is he willing to, to put it on the line and start to make history? Yes, he has. He's done all the right things, stay focused. He doesn't party, he doesn't drink, he doesn't smoke, he doesn't do all these things away from track and field that always is a coach's nightmare. Um, I know what he does on the track. Uh, I'm always worried about what people do away from me. And, and he, he's a disciplined individual with a goal and purpose in mind, and, and God has blessed him in that, that category. Are you surprised how the 400 meters has, um, you know, the whole momentum around the 400 meters has increased over the past probably 10 years? I mean, probably five, 10 years ago, have you ever dreamed that the 400 meters would be almost a marquee event when it comes to the World Championships and the Olympic Games? Well, it's been, it's been said many times, and I heard it from, from track and field experts as well as, as track and field fans, that the 400 meters may be the most exciting event of the Olympic Games, and that's including all events in all, all sports, uh, because you've got three of the best ever competing in the same race. And, and you don't usually get that. You usually get the best competing over a period of time. But to compete in the same year, in the same space, in the same event, um, with three, I'm not talking about with two or one, we're talking about three. And that's, 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 that makes it a, a very marquee event. Uh, but no, not in my wildest dream would I think that the 400 meters would take off the way it's taken off as a group, as an event, because it's so deep. And um, you have stars, you have rising stars, you have potential stars. And, and, and not many events can say that because it's just taken off in the last several years. You know, um, it took 60, 70 years for so many people to break 40, 44 seconds. And now within a two year period, you know, six guys break 44 seconds. So, um, you know, history is among us and, and um, the sport has changed. Finally, any major predictions? I know predict. The only thing I can predict about Karani is that he'll give his best, he'll run fast, if healthy. And I, and I mean if healthy because I remember in 2013 in, in, in um, Moscow, Russia, um, he wasn't able to run fast because he got food poison. And um, he gave his all. Um, if it was my choice, I would have said, Go, Karani, do not run because you will embarrass yourself amongst this competition. Uh, he said, Coach, he looked me dead in my eyes and Coach, I got to run. I want to represent my country. And what he mean by that is, by any means necessary. It, it's, it, he loves wearing the Grenadian colors. Mm -hmm. and, and he knows that the Grenadians going to be proud of him no matter what. There will be questions by some, but they know that, that he has never, ever not given 100%. So what I expect from Karani is 100%. If he's healthy, I expect greatness, nothing less than that, and that's my take on it. While you're on that, you're optimistic about both the chances of both Grenadians in the quarter mile? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm confident that if, if um, Braden runs to his capability and had run like he's been running all season, you have two Grenadians in the finals. And then again, at that point, uh, I spoke with Michael Johnson over at the, uh, the Nike Hospitality. He said to me, his very own words, that I've got three guys in the 400 that I think will be the medal winners. He said, I just can't tell you what place it's going to be. <laughs> and, uh, and that's the way I feel. But I also feel that Braylon, if running well, if any one of those three guys slip, he has the capability of getting in there as well. So, but, you know, the race will take care of itself. We're just glad to be here. Glad to be in position to do good things. I'm glad we're talking about Karani potentially winning a gold medal as opposed to Karani is hurt or Karani is, is running bad or Karani is, is don't look like Karani of 2012. So, you know, I'm, I'm real proud of the fact that we're in position where we're in.